G'day, welcome to the next video in the Rule Set Wizard tutorial series. Uh, my name's Damned, and today we're going to build a basic list where you can create new items in the character sheet and you can have multiple items. So this is our character sheet and this is what it's going to end up looking like. So you can see here that we've got Kevlar uh, head protection uh, with a stopping power of 7 and no penalty and we've got an armor suit on wearing on our body uh, with stopping power of 12 but it also gives us a minus 4 to our uh, reflex, dexterity and body uh, roll. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to jump back into our camera pack A and we're going to firstly create the list. So we'll start by uh, creating a new window and we will resize this particular window and we're going to set it to 32 pixels height and a width we're going for 275 we're going to give it a name armor detail and that might be it for the moment okay so we've got the basis of the list started, now we're going to add the elements in. So we're going to start with a string field and drop it in roughly into the right position here and we might move that over here, we've got 5 and 5. We're going to make this 50 pixels. Uh, we're going to give it a frame, we're going to go with field of dark, default frame. Uh, offset, we want to go with 5 pixels on left and right and we set the height to 24 and we've got to give it a name so a name is going to be armor uh, location so it's going to be either head, body or shield and We'll just stick this stuff in here, even though these fields don't exist yet. The next field's going to be the name, armor name. So let's go with that. Let's duplicate this field. Get it up here, fairly close. Uh, we'll set the position here 5 and 60. Going to make the length, let's go with 110. And we want to give it a name, armor name. The next tab target target is going to be SP. And the previous will be armor location. Okay. Now we're going to add two number fields. So we'll start with the first one. Here, fairly close to our position, and it's going to end up being quite close to the top. Make that two. So we've got 175. The width we only want 25 wide. 30 high is good, um, but we're going to go for a solid box color here. So we're going to go with box black. Yeah, and when we do box black, we do we change the font here to reference B, and we change the font color to white. And again, we want a little bit of left and right offset. Okay, that might be enough to get no, We need a name here, so armor. SP, previous is armor name, sorry, next is armor penalty, and the previous is armor name, and then we're going to duplicate this. Let's just get it up here. Along a little 
bits for 2, 205. Uh, the name is going to change to Armour Penalty. Next tab target is going to be Armour Link. And the previous will be Armour SP. We might set a default value here of 0. Same on this one. For zero. Uh, and we're going to change the second one to box red. Great. Okay. Uh, just double check our font colors are good. All right. Now we're going to add. I don't know how this one works just at the moment. We're just going to add a button here. It's just going to be a placeholder because I haven't yet worked out how to do the link icons in here for lists. So I'm going to make that twenty wide, 20 tall, so maybe like 5 into 40, no, 35. We're going to get rid of the frame. We're going to put instead a icon, normal icon will be button link. And button link down. These ones are taken from the core RPG. I didn't create these. And that's about it. Okay, I reckon if we save that. Now, what we want to do is actually put that into our character sheet. Now, we can see it's called Armor Detail. So, the next thing we're going to do is flip over to the character sheet. And we're going to add some stuff in here. So, what we'll do firstly actually is we'll go into our graphics frames. Okay, I've got one here, big BG soft red. We've got a new graphics frame we're gonna use. Okay, perfect. And we'll go back to our car sheet main. We're going to add in window list. So we've got over here a window list drag it in over here and pretty much align it with this icon here. So what have we got there? 55, 55, that's be like 190. And the width here is going to be 275, the outer one was 265. We're going to set a frame and it'll be BG soft red. Okay, frame offset, as always, we're going to just put 5 left and right. Um, and we're going to change this height to 110. Up here we've got some important information. So our class name is Armor Detail, which we just created. And we have to store the data in a list on the character sheet. And the syntax for that is usually a full stop. And we're going to go with armor list. Okay. We're going to give that a go. We're going to see what that looks like. We'll give this a name here um, armor list. Armor list. All right. So we'll flip through those quite quickly in this session. Okay. How good is that? Okay, so some items that I pre-populated. All right, so we tried to, I've added these fields in here earlier and I, I wanted to delete them um, so we could just show you how it looks creating the new ones again, but we've discovered that my element here, I needed to allow create and delete. Okay, we're also going to later on come back to the accept drop values. Let's save this again. Fire this up and we should be able to delete 
these items here. Alright, so we're going to add a blank field for uh, creating our list items. We're just going to create two here. We've got um, head and we're just going to put some nominal values in here for the moment. Uh, seven and there's no penalty here. And we've got body and uh, they will put on the steel suit. Uh, armor suit. And it's got a SP stopping power of 12, but it also has a penalty of minus 4. Okay, I can see something else here that I'm not 100% happy with. I need a little bit of buffering at the top here, space. Let's just add one more element here. We've got plenty of room at the bottom, so I need to add a little bit of padding at the top. And this whole element can probably move over just a couple of pixels and shorten this one just a little bit. Let's make this um, frame offset here. We'll go with four fives. Let's drop this to 100, to 100. Actually, that's fine. But we're just going to shrink this here. See whether that worked. Nice, it's very close, very close to what we want. Okay, I'm going to delete this element, we don't need it at the moment. But we also, this penalty number here, we want to be able to apply that penalty. And it's going to be very similar to the penalty here for uh, seriously wounded. So when you double click that, you get a seriously wounded um, penalty. And minus two. So this one, when you're wearing... Um, armor suit, uh, several of your moves like dex and reflex and move are reduced by four points. So we're going to add the on double click modifier stack uh, to this. Now, best thing to do, the easiest thing to do is go over here and copy and paste code we've previously done. So back into here, the red field. So I've Use the color coding here, same as we did on the other one. Paste this in here. Now this is armor penalty. And it is based on, okay, so we need to actually get the value of that field. So we want to get the value of that list element. So let's work out how to do that. We might even call this node AP. Let's publish that. Okay, we've got a database node is equal to that, and it puts a minus four modifier. So when we roll here, we get 5 minus 4. Perfect. Okay, let's remove that debug code. Let's publish this again. And okay, thank you for joining me for another session on this rule set wizard tutorial series.